Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. If you want to create customizable products and boost your WooCommerce store, then this video tutorial is just for you. We are diving into Stacks, the ultimate plugin to build product configurators that let your customers design their own products in a way that is both fun and functional. So let's get started. Here we are on a demos page of the Stacks app and here you can see what you can achieve with the app. Uh, but in this video particularly, we will mainly concentrate on the 3D product configurator. So let's check the demo for it. For example, we can open the bag and check it out. Here it is. Here you can see uh, the product in a 3D format. Uh, you can change its sizes, you can change the colors for the bag and also you can change the bag handle color for example like this. So let's go to the uh, dashboard to create such a product and see how it works. We can click here is that to use the 3D configurator you will need to have the pro version of this Dex app. Also the app offers a 14 day uh, free trial so you can test the app first and then decide whether you want to purchase it or not. We are going to create such a stand. As you can see it has uh, different attributes uh, and we will create all of them uh, together. Uh, so for that let's go to the uh, dashboard and uh, create uh, attributes first and then we can go uh, further with templates and the product itself. So we go to our dashboard then attributes. Here you can see I have already created some uh, attributes but we will create new ones together so that you can understand how this process works. So let's click on the add new attribute button to create the first one. And all the information about the attributes included in the product configurator. We can name our attribute like uh, this one. Stand uh, color. Like its name. But we will choose uh, the image uh, swatches uh, template. As you can see, you have different options here for the templates. But for this one, we will choose the image swatches. Then type image. No. And here we will need to add attribute items by clicking here. So let's create uh, four items, so that uh, one for each color. Uh, first, let's create the black one. We write black here. Add the thumbnail uh, as a black image, like this. Also here we will uh, set it as a main color price type to percentage price option over here attributes for our uh, other uh, colors so we click on add attribute item button uh, write brown here and do the same steps steps for this one as well and for all the colors accordingly let's do this together quickly to go to the gallery and here choose a 3d model insert uh, this material label model material and of course um, we will choose base texture then color let's check our demo again uh, as you can see the second attribute is uh, the movable uh, stand whether our stand is movable uh, has wheels or not uh, so let's create an attribute for this as well. Uh, we can uh, click on the uh, add new attribute button here. Pull uh, stand wheels. We can write movable stand here. We'll choose the uh, button group for the template and image for the type. Have two attribute items, either yes or no. Very simple yes here no option no attribute item like this 
the item we will add a uh, price for example $99 you can go to the gallery and choose 3d model again note uh, remaining inputs uh, for your uh, preferences the changes here we will have um, different options added to the attribute item this we can publish the attribute and items uh, we will decide which items uh, we can add for the uh, attribute so let's go to our dashboard and click uh, add new attribute button here Example stand items like this and the same for the title boxes as a template like this and image for the type for attribute items for the uh, stand items uh, microphone a USB port and a triple power box so we'll need to add the attribute item here then write for example microphone three inches 3d model and here model node then go back so we will add this one and we will change the fixed price option to this one we'll uh, set a price for it for example 49 for uh, the other attribute items we click here once we are done with this um, attributes as well we can publish uh, it as well banner here you can either include it or not uh, here you can say and yes you can uh, upload your image on the dashboard we go to the um, attributes and add a new one this stand banner the um, image upload then input and it's optional attributes item and here I write this text uh, as a label the gallery set 3d model here go back as file a values here like this push it and add new attribute banner This. we choose again button group then image and single option and here we need to add yes and no attribute items for example like this to the gallery and choose 3d model here add model node then go back for the yes option, yes attribute item, then publish it. Just let's go to the templates and add a new one. So for our template, for example, let it be a stand template like this. We will need to choose the 3D model here and we can choose this one. So here you can see lots of uh, tabs and options the um, Stacks app offers so you can uh, customize them the way you prefer. Once we are done with the settings configuration for the template, we can publish it. So at the end, uh, once the um, so once we have already added attributes and template, let's create a product and see how the uh, functionality works for it. To create a new product, go to the products page and add new product. As a first step, we need to add a name for the product. Uh, let it be, for example, stand, like this. We can scroll down and uh, what is important is to tick to enable Stacks product configurator. And by this, the following section is added to the product page. Here we need to choose the configurator theme. Let it be, for example, template. Then we need to choose the configurator type as 3D model we need to attach the 3d model file by clicking select file button here it is 
And here we will need to paste the 3D model nodes, for example, like this. This we will need to click on the add new button and uh, add our attributes. The add new and attribute. Here we will choose, for example, color. And we add another, for example, wheels. Attributes like this. Choose, for example, banner. And then banner image. And CD app also offers conditional logic. So we tick this option for the banner image attribute. And here we need to click on the add conditional uh, rule button. Here we will decide when to display banner image. Uh, so we choose to display a uh, banner. Uh, if it is equal to yes, it will be displayed only in this case. And scroll up here. Write a price here, for example, like this. Once we are done, we can uh, publish our product. Once we are done, we can check the product on the front end. And for that, we need to click on this button. Here is the result we have achieved. Here you can see the stand. We can change the colors. Also, we can uh, choose uh, whether it's movable or not. If it's movable, then uh, it has the uh, wheels. Then we can <clears throat> see and add stand items, for example, microphone, USB port, etc. They will be more visible like this. We can remove them. And uh, we will decide whether to include banner or not. And if you click yes, then you will need to upload the banner. You decide what you want to purchase. You can click on the add to cart button and proceed with the checkout. In this video tutorial, we mainly concentrated on the 3D configurator, but as you can see, the plugin offers a great number of features and functionalities you can use uh, to achieve your desired uh, custom results. So that was all about this tax app. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course hit the notification bell for more engaging videos. Bye!